Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to wellco.org. I'm going to do a new app today, and it's co.org. Basically, this is a basic setup for your game. You have to get some cubes, you drag them out, and then you can change the texture of them if you want. This is just the fairly most, you know, generic stuff that you have to do. Now let's start with the basics. We first start with when, when play is clicked, because that's how this type code works. You set the variable, which I named lives, to 3. You can make it anything, you can make it 100 of all I care. Then you have to set life sign to create string with lives. Then you have when player collides with reset zone, which is this giant thing right here, reset zone. Uh, you play this song until it's done. Then you subtract a life. You set the position of player to start position. Make sure that the start position is above this, because otherwise you'll just continue dying. Unless you want to do that for some reason, I don't judge. And if lives is greater than zero, you set the, you know, life sign to, you set text to life sign is greater than, you know, lives, because I created a string here. Then I end it with no image. Okay, I don't know why I duplicated this. You don't really need this one, so ignore it. So when win collides a player, win is what I named uh, this thing right here. Because it's you go there when you end the game. You do congratulations, you won, text congratulations. You do the image, which I got right here. You play a sound, and then you wait until it's true, because you need it to finish. Now, basically, uh, this code is for, well, these things. They're moving tiles. And I want them to go on forever, so that's why I put a forever loop. So I did a run parallel, because this needs to run parallel, so it doesn't really affect anything. So, the brick wall, which is, wait, then, yeah, the brick wall, which is this, moves one meter to the right, and one meter to the left, in one second. And, well, it also moves one meter to the right, but it waits a second, otherwise it just go like repeatedly forever. And then, finally, I have the cylinder. The cylinder moves clockwise and counterclockwise to both directions, so it can make it a bit easier. So, uh, let's play this game so you guys could understand how this works. Whoops. Something's not working here. Oh, I accidentally clicked something, shoot. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm playing it. So basically, oh, technology piece, I guess. Uh, of course, it's gonna be slow, but so here I have my text box, which has lives too. I died once. So you just jump, and you notice that this thing right here moves. Of course, you can make this app, of course, a bit better. It doesn't really matter what you do. And when you die, it changes the uh, text box, and then you know. You it a bit more um, than you know. Now let me show what happens. So if you win, you just jump a bit, and then you go here, and then you go here. And I died. And I literally died. Wait, because wait a minute. I don't know why it always does that. Uh, sorry, it's, just, it's not really working too well for some reason. Probably because I'm playing or something. But essentially, when you hit the win square, it will just basically set a new image, which allows you, which just shows some star, and that's it. It's a fairly basic app. It should take like a few minutes to finish, honestly. It took me quite a while to figure everything out, but you have the basic setup. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day. But I want to underline one major important point. Make sure the start position is always above, above this. Otherwise, you know, you will die. You can make this a bit better. Who knows? Do whatever you want with it. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day.